giving you a voice, and making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. 2019 week five of first seed top 25 in the 25th spot is team number 359. So from Waialua, Waialua, Hawaii, and Waialua Intermediate and, and their high school, it's the Hawaiian kids. They have an overall record of 44 and 8. And they were the winners of the Canadian Pacific and the Hawaii Regionals. So as we say every year, it's literally one of the most traveled team in first. The Hawaiian kids began their deep space world tour. Um, in California and exited in the semifinals. From there, they went off to Western, um, can the Western, into Western Canada, excuse me, where they took the number one seed and selected two rookie teams to join their alliance where they won that event. And this past weekend, they returned home where they would rank second and be selected by none other, 368, Kikimana. These buddy teams, with the help of 55-15, would take home the win in six matches. But this isn't it for the Hawaiian kids. They're always looking for more gameplay, and they were able to get into um, the Canadian Rockies Regional, where they'll be uh, headed there this weekend. Uh, before they'll head out to Houston Championship. So as we, as I said, you know, always a crazy amount of gameplay um, for the Hawaiian kids, and they have two banners on the season already, and uh, looking for a third heading into championship. So good luck and uh, congratulations to 359, the Hawaiian kids. By the way, I had a little typo there. It is 359, not uh, <laughs> not the team before, guys. Sorry. I, by the way, side note, I literally just got off a flight from Las Vegas like three hours ago. <laughs> uh, right. So a little bit of a rush to get this in. Uh, so if, we're, if there are any other mistakes, uh, please let me know, and we'll make sure we correct those. Sweet deal. Sounds good. Uh, so moving right along to our 24th spot, that's going to be team number 48. From Warren, Ohio, Warren G. Harding High School, it's Team Elite 38-8-0. And, and we're the winners, the Midwest, Greater Pittsburgh, and Buckeye Regionals. So apparently in the top 25, apparently. three regional wins only gets you the 24th spot. Uh, I think this team deserves to be higher. I don't care you know, how you think of their robot or the technical aspects of it. Three regional wins is a crazy impress impressive uh, campaign so far. They've won three events without ever being on the number one alliance. That's it's awesome. also crazy yeah. impressive yeah. and a super rare feat. Uh, I feel like these days, in fact, every time we're talking about regional wins, it's ones and twos winning. So they've they've never been on the number one alliance and they've got three regional wins. The robot's gotten better and better, but their grit and determination to win is really what's getting the job done. So with three blue banners uh, as their sales, this team is looking to make an impact on the championship in Detroit. So, yeah, I don't know. Three regional wins. But um, I think what you said, Justin, yeah, I mean, not as the number one seed. Like yeah. that is like that. That tells all right there. That's like that. Battling. That is awesome. Like that's just that's crazy. 48 has been a team, too, that I, I think their strategy has really played very well for them. I talked about this a couple of weeks ago when I saw them in uh, at the Midwest Regional. Uh, and 48, to me, just they just play very solid strategy for things. The way they can swap their defense around, I think, plays well. They're a team that's been known for being uh, kind of an aggressive defensive bot. And now they have a good offensive robot and can kind of translate their defensive mindset to the rest of their uh alliance for things you know something to point out too is that they were ranked 230 in elo and i think a lot of that is uh because they're they're not the number one seed many times is that their elo suffers from something like that because uh the way that the elo is factored from caleb uh is that it is a little bit more heavy in the qualification matches uh than it is in the elim so i think that's why we see that discrepancy there but 48 to me has been you know they're not the most uh that that arm claw they have is definitely uh maybe not the most aesthetically pleasing thing in the world but it is very <laughs> functional uh and works really well and like i said just their, their strategy overall i think is what has carried them very far they have a they have a good robot they have a very good robot it is an elite robot i don't think they're quite there to that top top tier uh but their strategy has been very good for them so was that a pun? an elite robot yeah i didn't think about that but yeah <laughs> yeah sure you didn't <laughs> yeah <laughs> Cool. All right, so that was Team 48, and we're going to move to the 23rd ranked team and talk about 3647. I'm San Diego, California, and Torrey Pines High School is the Millennium Falcons with an overall record of 44, 11, and 1. They also were three-time winners of the Del Mar, San Diego, and Idaho Regionals. So back-to-back -back, um, three regional win um, teams. So it could also be underrated here. So. Um, they won um, two regionals as the first pick of the number one alliance. 36-47 would kept in their own alliance this weekend at the Idaho Regional. Um, not sure if they declined because they were, I think, they kept in number two. Um, but I really love their design. They're over and back, kind of like that kind of vertical, you know, 180 turret that they got there. Um, so go check. I was watching match 54 from this past weekend. Um, it's like literally like one second on the clock. Um, they needed one last cargo in the rocket at, on the top level 
to um to get that extra ranking point and he's just like no way and they just like the the arm ends up and just pops it in just beautifully it was really cool so you should check that out um i really wish i would have i don't think anybody submitted that to clips of the week but um i would have added it if it wasn't already done so um congrats on an incredible season um the million falcons will be headed um to the uh, houston championship where we'll we'll see him there so uh awesome season congratulations and good luck to 36 47 so yeah, a little, little, uh, little um, comment in the chat there. So yeah, that robot is, it's really, it's really, it's really slick, and uh, the way the way they play the game and handle game pieces, it's pretty cool. All right, so moving on to our twenty second ranked team. You guys still there? Or am I frozen? Oh okay. Uh, oh, I can read. Is he's yeah, he's still gone. Yeah, Justin's a little frozen. That's that's all right. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll pick it up for him. So our 22nd ranked team is going to be team number 1305, and they're from North Bay, Ontario, Canada. It's Ice Cubes, a 32-6-0 record, and they were the winners of the Georgian College in North Bay District event. So, wow, Justin right? So what a district season for 1305. They started their campaign with a win and finished it the same this past weekend in North Bay. They seated second and captained the number two alliance to the finals, and they knocked off the number one alliance um, in the finals there. They also picked up the district chairman's award for some double gold clean bling. So we can put those up in the chat, those emotes. And uh, they lead the Ontario district event, um, which is no easy feat. So congrats to um, 1305 and good luck at the provincial championships coming up. So they get that double gold clean bling. Let's see if I can hit the right button. Yeah. Oh yeah. So <laughs> what I just remember watching that uh the the robot during premiere night when it came out, right? And the uh that turret that they have just looks so cool. Uh and it's so awesome to see this team having just great success. You know, we, we talk about yeah the power of districts sometimes and yeah. now in Canada you're just starting to see so many other uh cool teams come out and this turret and this robot is just I mean it's slick. It the that yeah. intake, you know, you look at it and you're like, Oh, it could be a little bit wobbly and maybe not quite what it needs, but yeah, it just looks really good, and uh, you gotta you gotta love that robot that just performs as well as they do. Yeah, Jared just Jared just um, put in the chat. I think you'll be seeing thirteen oh five in our clips of the week. Um, they, have a, they had a really cool double climb, and so um, if you haven't seen it, you'll see it in clips of the week coming up. But um, yeah, Ice Cube is um, another team that has been coming out um, more repeatedly since um, Ontario went to districts, and we're just seeing them. We're just about ready to move on from thirteen oh five. So I don't know if you have anything to add that we haven't already said, but. Well, I couldn't hear what you were that's <laughs> what you right. talked about. That's right. You can, yeah, I know. But, yeah, no, I'm just really excited. Like I said, uh, like you said, they're the top. They're the top ranked team in the Ontario District. At 2056, is one more event to play, um, but it's going to be hard to catch them. So I'm really excited to see what they can do at their provincial championship. Yeah, for sure. All right, moving on to 21, and we have Team 842. From Phoenix, Arizona, and Carl Hayden High School, it's Falcon Robotics. They have an overall record of 21-9-1, and and they were the winners this past weekend at the Las Vegas Regional. So this Hall of Fame team competed a couple weekends ago in their home state where they exited the quarterfinals on the number two lines. This past weekend, they competed at Las Vegas and would finish second and be selected number one overall by Team 987. So history between these two is deep, but only have to go back um, to last year to find out that these two teamed up a year ago to mm -hmm. win the same event. So... Um, Tyler, I'm going to have you uh, – so good luck and congratulations to 842. But, Tyler, since you were there, I just didn't know if you had anything else to add uh, about 842. Yeah, so uh, 842 uh, was about where uh, – when I first saw them, like, they, they came out really firing really hard, and then they had a couple consistency issues on their end. But then they, like – it just, like, Saturday came, and they just kind of ignited once again, right? And they just started uh, looking in the form that I would have expected out of 842. And uh, when 987 seated first, I was really curious, you know, if they were going to pick – pick them or looking at like milk and knights or uh fryer bots or a, a couple of the other teams uh out there i'm blanking who the number two uh seed team was there uh but you know 842 just looking absolutely phenomenal obviously they won with them before they trust them on that and uh the robot in general just looks really sharp so uh you know falcon robotics just keeps it going and uh keeps looking really good and the robot honestly um you know isn't too complex of a bot like it's just designed really really well and just performs as you would expect as well too very cool and we might be talking about one of their counterparts a little bit later maybe so <laughs> maybe <laughs> all right so moving on to our 20th ranked team 
That's gonna. Be, I was waiting for his little picture. I got you. <laughs> Make sure he wasn't dead yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that team is gonna be 74-57. From Indianapolis, Indiana, Purdue Polytechnic High School at Sue Purdue Robotics, 29 and nine overall. Of the winners, the Tippecanoe and Center Grove District events. So, rookie sensation. We first mentioned, I don't know if you guys remember this, in our preseason show about favorite rookie team names, because the team name is, as you can see, Sue Purdue Per. Um, being a Purdue from Purdue Polytechnic High School. Um, this team has played two events in their history and won both of them. They're the number one seed at Center Grove uh, this past weekend and led their Alliance to a rubber match in the semifinals to take the win. Uh, they lead the Indianapolis District, which is awesome for any team, uh, much less a rookie. So it'll be interesting to see how well they can carry this momentum uh, in this rookie season into the Indianapolis District Championship. But um, what a great season for them so far, two, two, uh, two events and two wins. Yeah, it was it was really funny. I didn't see your write up, but I remember like just pulling up Blue Alliance and looking at all the new rookie teams. And like mm-hmm. I just remember seeing Super Duper. I was like, what a great team name, and uh, that's awesome. Two this, two events, two wins. Yeah. Is this the first rookie we've had this year? I think so, right? Uh I don't know. Other I than because um, really like last year we had Crossfire. I know. I think what was on. Oh. But I, thought, I just saw it earlier today, and I know I can't. I can't remember. Oh, it's well. the one. I think it's from Pacific Northwest. Have we had them yet? I'm not sure. Yeah. Chat, chat. Maybe you can, uh, maybe you can find out for us. But uh, yeah. otherwise, I'll try to take a look. But either way, I mean, super duper. Like, like you said, I mean, number one seed in the Indiana District. Holy yeah. crap! Right? I know. It's just awesome. Yeah. I can't remember. It's that. It's the team name that's fun to pronounce. I can't remember. Man. There's a, there's a lot of them out there. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving uh, from 20 into our teens. And in the 19th spot, we have team 3015. From Spenceport, New York, and Spenceport High School, it's Ranger Robotics, an overall record of 28 and 6. They were the winners of the Finger Lakes Regional. So they took the win at their hometown regional, uh, FLR 3015, headed downstate to Long Island to compete in the second event of the week there. They would finish second with a 2.8 ranking score average and would accept the invitation from. Um, their friends in another hometown team to Rochester, 340. Um, taking uh, quarterfinals and semifinals pretty easily, they would um, lose finals match one by one point, win finals match two by only one point, and lose finals match three by five points um, <clears throat> with just a really kind of heartbreaker there at the end. So um, 3015 will be headed to, to Detroit. Uh, championship will be competing there. And Justin, I don't know if you have anything else to add from uh, your time this weekend, but it was it was definitely fun watching you. You guys have a you guys have a great robot. Thank you, and we had a blast. Uh, we knew it was mm-hmm. going to be a battle with the you know us three forty seventeen ninety six and eight seventy all uh, with great great machines, and it was just we knew like I can show you text messages. We knew that however it sh- shook out with those four teams, the finals were going to be excruciatingly close, uh, and they yeah. were excruciatingly close. You know, one point matches back to back. Yeah, uh, it was was really awesome. So I mean, we're not we're not disappointed at all. We knew it was going to be a battle. We gave the we gave the crowd there some awesome matches to watch, and we're really excited for Detroit. Mm-hmm. Nice, cool, awesome. All right, so moving on to our 18th ranked team. That's going to be team number 5172 from Greenbush, Minnesota. Greenbush Middle River Senior High School. It's the Gators, 28 and three overall, and we're the winners of the North Great Northern and Minnesota 10,000 Lakes Regional. So they only faced two losses after after capturing the number one seed at their first event, and they cut that number in half to take the number one seed this past weekend at 10,000 Lakes, looking at only one loss. In Elims, they take a level two start in a front cargo hatch in Sandstorm and don't look back. One of the coolest things I saw about 5172 as I was watching their matches, they utilized their ground hatch pickup very, very well. Uh, Not many teams have it. I feel like a lot of teams that do have it don't necessarily use it all the time, but they really do use it well, and it works awesome. And they use it to great effect uh, in the matches that I watch. So they really are benefiting from having that ability. Another great machine that's getting results from the Gators, and good luck in Detroit to Team 5172. So, you know, I don't know what, what video is playing right now, but um, there's one video that really shows – I think this is it, actually. It shows their ground pickup. It, it's really slick. Nice. So I, I don't know if you guys ever saw there was actually this like uh, mini documentary made about fifty one seventy two, just because oh, really? of where they're from. Yeah, it came it came out a little while ago. I, I know it was a, like a low budget screen thing, but it was very well done. And I caught I didn't see the whole thing, but I caught clips of it. But fifty one seventy two uh, is from like a city of like two hundred people or something like that. Um, like absolutely just insane. Just like how their entire community is all in. Oh, that's for box program. So, yes, from uh, Greenbrush, right? I think is what it was. Yeah, Greenbush. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, 719 people. Oh, are, yeah, are, that's right. Yeah. Are, wow. are in this, and like, if you 
like they're like in the middle of nowhere, Minnesota, like at the top of the state and that sort of thing. And this team, ever since their rookie year in 2014, when uh, the team I was on actually competed uh, with them and we lost in the in the finals of a regional, uh, like you just knew this team had it and they just had the right gusto. And they, their robots just like I, their 2016 robot is one of my favorite robots. And the season just continue uh, success uh, year after year. Man, these guys are mm-hmm. looking good. Cool. Nice. Oh, so I found it. It's Wingus and Dingus was that yeah. rookie team. But oh, they didn't yeah. we just mentioned them and they were the snub of the week in week two, I found. That's right. So. Yeah. Wingus and Dingus is also a really good Vex team. Or the, it's the same team, yeah, but they the were same, really, yeah. they were really yeah, good yeah. in Vex before yeah. they mm-hmm. All right. Move into the seventeenth spot. We have team seventeen ninety six. From Queens, New York and Queens Technical High School, it's the Robo Tigers. An overall record of twenty six and seven. They were the winners of the Hudson Valley and the SPLI number two uh, regional. So competing in back-to-back weekends, the Robo Tigers had some nice momentum going, picking up the win in Hudson Valley and finished second uh, and being selected number one overall. In Long Island, they would finish fourth and be taken second overall and go on to win against the number one alliance. Uh, they just have just about a two-hatch auto and quickly and easily score game pieces. And so just well done to 1796 on their two banners this season. Uh, you kind of already... Um, Mention them a little bit, um, Justin. But any any further, uh, anything further on this team specifically that that stuck out to you this past weekend? Uh, I think that they were probably the best team at the event. Um, they were just so stinking good um, when they were on. The thing that hurt them the most, and I'm trying to pull it up right now, in their first, um, oh goodness, their first two matches they had zero RPs, um, mm. uh, and in their third match they had. Uh, yeah, they've lost their first two matches, zero RPs in both. Um, and in this game, that can that can be devastating. Mm-hmm. So to watch them early Friday uh, have two really rough matches and then battle back all the way to fourth uh, was just incredible to watch. When they were on, man, they were on. And uh, we were not looking forward to playing them in the finals by any means. Um, but we were able to yes. play with them last year. They're a great team. We made a lot of great friendships with them last year. Um, nice. And we were really excited to see them win. They've now won their fifth uh, or maybe it's sixth actually. I think they had, oh, they had three last year. This is their there was their fifth regional win in a row. Wow. They won they've won, they won they won three last year and they've won both of theirs this year. Um so yeah, they're they're on fire. And a chairman's uh, award last year too. It yeah, like. they yeah. They're um they're uh <laughs> they're a heck of a team. They're competing again um the, this weekend in New York City. So they didn't compete at all the the first three weeks of the competition season and uh, then they finished their they finished their uh, yeah season four going four five six so wow they're they're busy yeah very cool good for them wow five in a row that's awesome yep nice all right so finishing out um, here before we take a quick break for a giveaway um, Justin's going to tell us about team eight seventy from South Hold New York South Hold Junior Senior High School it's Team Rice thirty wins four losses overall and with the winners the Finger Lakes and Long Island at number two regionals. So Reese uh, Rice <laughs> followed up their, <laughs> their all-star performance in Rochester with an equally impressive run in Long Island. After seeding one at FLR, Rice bailed through a red card to seed third at Long Island. After some interpicking picking between the top two teams, they kept in the number two alliance to the finals with 17-96 and 36-24. The final matches were close and exciting, but in the dust title, it was 870, bringing the blue banner back to Southhold. A great team will track as they shift their focus to Detroit, and good luck to Team 870, Rice. I really think this robot can do some damage. Um, it's one of those robots that's not necessarily pretty, but man, it is simple and it is consistent. If 1796 had the highest ceiling at the at Long Island number two, 870 was the most consistent team. They were just, they would go out and do their uh, do their thing, and it was just, it was impressive to watch. I'm really excited to see uh, what they're able to accomplish uh, in Detroit. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.